Uh, Rolling? Hey. What does the... What does the Las Vegas establishment think of Joe Yablonski? In general, I'd say they view him as, as someone who has uh, uh, posed a threat to them, a villain. Uh, they don't like him. Uh, when he came to town, uh, he posed a fundamental challenge to the status quo, and the establishment always has a stake in maintaining the status quo. And that status quo is that he's gone after? The status quo is, is that uh, uh, Las Vegas has operated on an informal set of rules over the years, sort of a wink and a nod among people who have uh, uh, known each other and done business for years and years and years. Mobsters? Some of them. Politicians? Some of them. Politicians and mobsters in cahoots? Politicians and mobsters uh, who know each other, have interacted with each other over the years, and uh, uh, in cahoots, depends on your definition. Well, then what's in it for the politicians? What's in it for the politician is that in many instances, people who have been identified as major organized crime figures by the FBI are people of great influence and power in this town. Just and because it, of money? Money is the mother's milk of politics. You can't win an election campaign without contributions. But these people are the constituents of these politicians. Uh, some of them are constituents, yes. More important, they're campaign contributors. Yes. And so they are responsive to their constituents. Uh, I would expect so. What has been the effect of Joe Yablonski on Las Vegas and the, the state of Nevada? I think that Joe Yablonski, Joe Yablonski's tenure as uh, uh, the head of the FBI office here was, was sort of a watershed. He came in here and instituted an investigation, Yobo, undercover sting aimed at uh, political corruption that nailed one of the most powerful state lawmakers in Nevada, Floyd Lamb. He instituted an investigation that uh, uh, resulted in the conviction of Harry Claiborne, a federal judge, and uh, uh, a charter member of the good old boy establishment. Uh, he has undertaken investigations that led to a, a skimming indictments at the Stardust. Uh, he has rocked the city. Uh, he, he, I think, presided over a fundamental change in the evolution of the city. It'll never be the same. Is he to be believed, therefore, when he makes charges about other... How has this town, Las Vegas, changed as a result of his being here? Well, I'll give you one example. Uh, uh, prior to Joe Yablonski coming to town, Tony Spilatro, okay, who's reputed to be uh, one of the worst killers in organized crime history, a man who puts people's, uh, allegedly puts their heads in vices and squeezes their heads uh, till their eyeballs pop out. Tony Spilatro was a member of the Las Vegas Country Club where all the elite members of this city gather for lunch every day. Tony Spilatro was there every day eating in the same room with bank presidents, with law enforcement officials, with casino owners, with reputable businessmen, and no with one thought much about it. With politicians. Politicians, too, and newspaper publishers. And no one thought much about it until? Until Joe Yablonski came to town. Uh, uh, Joe Yablonski put the spotlight of uh, federal attention on Tony Spilatro and his activities. Uh, he, uh, there are now two racketeering indictments pending against Tony Spilatro. Finally, the press caught on. And uh, uh, finally, Mr. Spilatro was asked to uh, uh, resign from the country club, told he was no longer welcome there. But that was a good seven, eight years after Tony Spilatro had come to town. Um, there was a time when Hank Greenspun, the publisher of the Las Vegas Sun, was himself a kind of maverick, stormy petrol in this town, exposed things. Now he seems to be part of the establishment, and he has what is what some people call a vendetta against Yablonski. Why, if he does have a vendetta against Yablonski, would uh, Greenspun feel that way? Hank Greenspun is one of those people who has a stake in the status quo in Nevada. The status quo, the way things have operated in Nevada for the past 30 years and in Las Vegas for the past 30 years, has made him a very rich man. The way things operate, how do I want to say it? The way that Las Vegas works has benefited Hank Greenspun. An alteration in the way Las Vegas works can only hurt Hank Greenspun. So he'll go after Yablonski. 
because Yablonski is going to upset his apple cart? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. 